Hi guys, uh, this is my very first video. Um, I'm here to run through the DJI Phantom 2. It's a newer of the uh, two versions. Uh, this one has a few updates which I'll run through as we go through it. Um, or you can see in the description. Um, I bought this from Quadcopters in the UK um, at £674 which included the Zenmush H3 3D uh, gimbal which is a fantastic system. Um, but let's go ahead Get right in there and uh, see what's inside the box. And as I says, we'll run through everything as um, we go through it all. So, uh, on arrival at your door, it comes in this uh, case, uh, which is rather good. I've already had this one open, so there is a few things maybe out of place from when you will get. Um, on arrival, you'll see that it has a very nice envelope here which contains um, your quick start guides and some labels over here and I'm not into pink myself but um, we uh, have to accommodate the female types as well because it's not just a guy's hobby as you can see it comes with all this um, inside Put that to the side for just now, but inside here, this is uh, where all the action happens. So we have um, the new upgraded controller uh, here. Um, it's upgraded because, just this one, um, on the back it has uh, no uh, AA batteries anymore. Um, it has a built-in lipo uh, that gives you a good couple of hours flying um, on, while we're on the back as well. It also has a trainer port um, for being able to learn how to fly safely with uh, some competent people. Um, here as well we also have a scroll wheel uh, which is used to um, move the camera up and down on the system uh, before you either had to install something there yourself or on the back you had the little uh, toggle switch uh, to um, lever that moved up and down and um, I believe this is a lot uh, better for everyone I haven't used it myself but uh, we'll, we'll run through that later also on the radio you'll see it's got the same uh, scent, auto scenting uh, gimbals sticks but um, with the added feature that when you're on the descent and for safety reasons you can just clip it down the heli will fly down slowly until it uh, lands safely on the ground it's a nice feature, you just push it down and you can maybe hear the click on the camera. Place that to one side. Um, in the box as well, we also have the power cables for actually charging the unit. Um, I also meant to say that this is charged through the USB port um, on your PC um, or uh, one of these uh, USB chargers that go into the wall. In here, you've got all the necessary cables to get you started. I've already had a look at this. So if you're worried, the UK version is here. You might see it there, it might be a little bit blurry. Um, so to charge your Phantom, this is what you use. Um, a very nice unit. Um, it means that um, you don't have to buy any external cables, chargers, lipo chargers, because as you might already know that lipo charger batteries are quite uh, dangerous. Um, also inside the box you have a screwdriver for doing all the necessary adjustments uh, that you may need to do. I'll just open this up quickly. Um, so it's a double sided screwdriver. Just uh, flat, cross, push it in. Um, you also have your little toolkit in here. We have all the necessary spanner screws, spare screws, allen keys uh, to be able to add the gimbal as well. Um, I'm not sure what these are for, but I presume they're for the feet for when you're landing. There's that over there. Um, the main body, which you'll be interested in. Um, I've never actually owned one of these, I was quite surprised at how. Uh, light the whole system was and how small it was. It looks a lot bigger uh, on the internet and 
when I actually saw one flying in Aberdeen, um, it was just, you know, I didn't actually see it land, I was just driving by and it does look a lot bigger in the sky. Um, it's very, very light, which is probably why it gives you the 25 minute flight time that it states. And uh, remember that's excluding the gimbal. Um, as you can see, it comes with um, some typical warnings uh, about blades and mowers. Um, these uh, motors have been upgraded. This is now part of the um, the thrust boost system. Um, DJI have decided not to brand these. And the good thing about them, just zoom right in, see if the camera will focus. And um, inside here, there's a big bearing to help on the wear and tear. Another nice feature that I quite like um, is the one-way screw props. But in addition to this, they've also coloured um, the top of the motors. Uh, one's obviously silver, the other one is black, black insinuating clockwise, silver anti-clockwise. Um, as well, the motors, uh, the propellers, sorry, have the corresponding colours on them. Oh, just do it a little bit lower. So black obviously goes to black, silver goes to silver. Again, this is part of the thrust uh, series. Um, which should give you a better response. Uh, the Phantom also has an upgraded S uh, speed controller system uh, for better responses, same as the Simon uh, system. Um, obviously, the battery is totally removable and you can change this at the field. The batteries are quite expensive, um, but it does have all the necessary control units inside it. Um, and as you can see here, if you push it, it'll tell you how much battery is in here. Generally when batteries are shipped from uh, anyone, they're at 40% because that's when they're at their safest. Um, remember you should only charge, discharge down to 20%. Um, so I would highly, don't fly um, with it at that state. Um, and should you charge it prior to use. Um, this is where you would control, uh, put on the gimbal. All the cables are there. As I said before, it has an upgraded um, compass. Uh, the last one had a little bit of interference, certainly when the Zenimoose system was installed. Um, it's now shielded through the cable, as well as the, it's got a nice cover here to stop any um, interference. Over this side is where the antenna is for the 2.4 gigahertz. And here, uh, this is for the Zenimoose uh, system here. The USB for upgrades is on the back, uh, just there. And um, all in all, it's a very nice system. Um, and what I'll do is I'll now connect it to the computer and I'll run through everything. But basically, that's it for this video for the unboxing. Um, do stay tuned for the um, flight video. Cheers.